I know I'm a little bit late on this one. I told you I was going out of town to Charlotte to see uh, if I like to think about moving here. I'll give you all the update when I get back home, either Sunday or Monday. I don't know yet. Um, but hey, talking about Mike Valenti. Uh, look at the camera. I'm talking and look at the camera. Let's talk about Mike Valenti. He said he made some shocking uh, comments on, about the Lions saying the Lions need to trade Hawkins and Ragnar for picks. Let's talk about it. That subscribe button, that like, comment button, share the video. Thumbs up the video, all that good stuff. And um, to me, um, you don't trade with the best center in football. You don't trade the best tight end in football. Just right now, after two or three weeks, he looked really, really good. I seen Wilder, I seen Kelsey. They seem to have better quarterbacks and better offensive players and teams around them. But Hawkinson and Ragnar, and Ragnar have been the best of what he do, man. Um, they're the best. I don't think you trade your best players for capital. Unless you, I mean, unless you you getting two ones, you getting like the three or, or two ones and a two. You don't, you don't trade you don't trade your best players for you don't trade your best players for threes and, or two or three and four but the only way this benefits somebody is that it benefits Hawkinson and Ragnar and they get to go to contenders or they get to go to better situations or unless they end up going to Jacksonville or going to Houston they get to go to better situations but um I think they're young enough to be a part of a rebuild I think they're great enough to be cornerstones, uh, part of rebuild. But when you're talking about the importance of a tight end, it ain't too important to a lot of people. But they're becoming more and more prevalent thanks to, you know, Tony Gonzalez, Shannon Sharp, Antonio Gates, I mean, and so on. So, I mean, his ability of blocking the run game, his ability to go vertical and go sideline to sideline, you know, it's great. So, I mean, it's, it's a necessity to have a good tight end, a great tight end. It's imperative that you have a great center. For years, we had Dominic Raiola getting blew back into whatever quarterback uh, lap, if it was uh, Matthew Stafford or whoever else it was. You know, he was getting blew back for years. So I think you got the best center in the game. Right now, you got the best tight end in the game. I don't think you trade those guys. And I think Mike Valenti was probably thinking from overall rebuild of scrape, of scrape, you know, for the betterment of Hawkinson and Ragnar going to a better situation. But like I said before, I think they're young enough. And they, you know, they're young enough to be a part of a rebuild. About it, you know, and like, like I said, the Lions have been rebuilding the last, you know, decade. You know, that's what, it seemed like that, man. And uh, like I said, hopefully Brad Holmes can get it right, because eventually you're going to pay those guys. So maybe he's, he's basically saying don't pay them and just get it, come in with a younger team. If that's the case, then you know, Jared Goff should get traded. Then they should they should have drafted a quarterback last year. Jared Goff shouldn't even have been here. So if they're going in a, a younger direction with minimum veterans. Ragnar and, and Hawkinson, they, they, if they was gone, so Jerry Goff should have never been traded for. So, I mean, um, you know, and, that, and that's just the honest truth about the situation, man. So, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I understand where he's coming from. Where this talent, this, this team is so talent depleted that they just need draft picks. But, you know, I'm going to need a lot of draft picks for, for the best tight end in the center going right now. And I don't think anybody going to be willing to pay the steep price uh, for that. I don't think these. I don't think he. They're gonna be willing to pay the price that I would want for them. So they're young enough. Keep them. Eventually, you're gonna have to pay them. But I mean, right now, absolutely not. Especially after suffering years of uh, Dominic Rayola, you definitely don't trade him. But like I said, you know, if anybody, you keep those guys. You build around those guys. If anybody on the team right now, you know, you don't have nobody else to build around or build with. As far as star talent, you don't have no receivers. The running back. Still yet to be seen, you know. So if that's the case, you should never trade it for Jared Goff. But like I said before, Jared Goff has been, you know, surprisingly a, a really good surprise, man. A good, it's been solid so far. So you don't want to take away his binky and uh, T.J. Hawkinson. But um, like I said before, you know, he need to worry about the Giants. You know, all that talent from Slayton to Sterling Sharp to Evan Ingram to Galladay to Saquon Barkley and you know whatever they got on defense, they still trash. I'm trying to go trade Saquon and, and, and Darius Slayton or whoever they got. Trade them guys. Whatever Slayton kid. And they trade them guys. Worry about them. But yeah, right now, you know, I don't think that would be an option in my opinion. To me, that wouldn't be, that wouldn't be an option. So, um, like I said before, man, he can say what he want to say. That's his opinion. Uh, but um, but definitely not right now, man. That offensive line is pretty good even now that it's hurt. It's hurt. 
But I think the true question is Decker. If anybody you trade is probably gonna be Decker to come back. You don't want to flip Sewell back to the right side. He getting comfortable at left. He doing better and better at the left tackle position. So you don't want to do that. So the real question is Taylor Decker. But you know, Mike Blunty, you know, I think it's I think I think he want to see the Lions win because it it make his job uh, his numbers better. His ratings will go up with the Lions win. I think he I think he coming from a, a real I think he coming from you know a place of endearment there. I think I think he really. I think he really he really wants the Lions to do good. You see how bad he is. You say, well, get those picks for those guys and try to build the team up. But right now, even if it's temporary, they cornerstones of the team as far as talent is so be it. So right now, um, I wouldn't trade those guys. You know, that's just my opinion, man. So uh, it is what it is. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, my social media in the description. I'm make a donation, cash up, such a good thing, three, 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 three,